force acting per unit area of a surface is called pressure. This is definition of pressure. Look at this a little nicely. We can describe this pressure in this way. Let's say this is one meter length and this is one meter breadth. One meter length and this is one meter breadth. And this surface is bounded by one meter length and one meter breadth. That's why its area is one meter square. In the same way, let's say this is a block, solid block. This is a solid block. And, and it's uh, this, the length of this block this way, its length is let's say one meter and this is one meter again. It means the base which is on the ground is of one meter square area. In the same way, let's take one container. Let's say this is a water container. In this case also, let's say this length is one meter and this breadth is one meter. This is also one meter square. I mean to say this surface area is one meter square. This the area of the base is one meter square. Here also area of the base of this water tank is which is filled with water is also one meter square area. It means I am taking one meter square area in each case. It means one unit area. Now this is the ground where the atmospheric pressure is exerted. I mean to say air has certain weight and the air applies force on this one unit area. How much force is applied by air on this one unit area is air pressure or atmospheric pressure. In the same way this is a solid block. Let's say its weight is 100 Newton. It means it applies 100 Newton force on 1 meter square area. It means here we are talking about force acting on 1 unit area. In this case also, let's say bottom part of this container is of 1 meter length and 1 meter breadth. Certain amount of water is contained in it. If here we have 500 Newton water, it means 500 Newton, the force, weight force is acting through 1 square meter area. And this represents actually the pressure. That's why pressure is defined in this way. Force acting per unit area of a surface is called pressure. Now it is represented by this equation pressure P equal to force by area. And its SI unit is Pascal. Actually pressure equal to force by area, pressure equal to force by area. And if force is measured in Newton and area is measured in meter square according to SI system then the pressure unit of pressure will be Newton per meter square and Newton per, per meter square is taken as Pascal and in the name of the scientist Pascal unit of pressure is written as Pascal and its abbreviation short form is PA it is a scalar quantity this way I told you just now that how much force is acting on one unit area that represents the pressure whether the pressure is applied by gas or it is applied by liquid or it is applied by solid no matter solid liquid gas whatever it be but force acting per unit area is pressure now look at this pressure equal to force by area we can prove this relation pressure equal to force by area now I'm going to prove this uh, before going through this proof what I have written here we know that pressure is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to area how can you say so we can say this because if we put our hand on the table and if one brick is taken on it we feel pressure. If two bricks are taken, we feel more pressure. If three, four or five bricks are placed one over another on my hand, then I, I feel it painful. What it means? Pressure is increasing. That's why because of high pressure, I'm feeling painful. It means when weight force increases, pressure increases. It means when force increases, pressure increases. When force decreases, pressure decreases. That's why we can say that pressure is directly proportional to the force. But on the other side, 
if I push someone with the help of this palm, he won't feel anything at all because it cannot uh, it cannot hurt him. But if the same force is applied through fingertips, then he will feel it very painful. The reason is very simple here. For same force is applied through less surface area, that's why pressure is high. And because of high pressure, he feel painful. So, if the same force acts through less surface area, pressure will be high. If the same force acts through large surface area, pressure will be less. By this common experience, what can I say? Pressure is inversely proportional to area. That's why, because of this common experience, we can write, we know that pressure is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the area. The same I am writing in mathematical form. Pressure is directly proportional to force, let's say equation 1. Pressure is inversely proportional to area, let's say equation 2. Now, combining equation 1 and 2, we get, what we get, combining these two equations, pressure is directly proportional to force, inversely proportional to area. We get this equation. But, I mentioned this in previous class also. If quantities are proportional to each other, then there must be a constant between them. So, we can convert this proportional sign into equal to sign, but we have to put the constant which involves between them. Let's say the constant in between them is k. Then, p is equal to k f by a. k is a constant. Now we have this equation. This equation says that P equal to Kf by A. But if pressure is one unit, force is one unit, and area is also one unit. What I mean to say one unit, if pressure is, our equation is P equal to F Kf by A. And left hand side, if pressure is measured in Pascal, one unit pressure, one Pascal, and there is k equal to force is one unit means one newton and area is one unit one meter square then pascal is expanded form is newton per meter square that's why this pascal and newton per meter square are same so i'm call, uh, i'm going to cancel them now k becomes therefore k is equal to one it means what we can say that if here in this case if k if P equal to 1, F equal to 1, and A equal to 1, then K also is equal to 1. If K equal to 1, then why should we put K here? Because 1 multiplied by F upon A becomes F upon A. Therefore, pressure is equal to force by area proved. This way, we can prove pressure is equal to force by area.